Hey everyone, Matt Pisarsik from Razor Emporium. A common question we get all the time is regarding our Razor revamp service. People are often worried about the value of replating a razor such as this $1.95 adjustable or fat boy adjustable razor. Uh, as in addition to any other razor that they're interested in plating, uh, the question I often get or my staff gets is what kind of value does it have now, you know, if I replate it, is it going to damage its value? The answer is absolutely it will. There is no longer a collector value to your razor if you just replate it. Uh, my personal collection, for instance, I have zero razors that are replated. It's all original razors. And true collectors don't believe in replating, sometimes not even touching up any uh, issues with plating or, or finish or patina, such as some of the old silver uh, double rings or silver single ring razors. If there's that original silver patina, I'll leave that on a razor. I don't polish that off. That's, that's what happens to silver, so it's left alone. True collectors believe in keeping things as close to originality as possible. Hence the reason why price tags, instructions, warranty cards, all these accessories that go along with a razor set are so sought after by a collector is because it increases its originality. That experience of just opening up a box that's you know never been opened since the 40s or whatever. So to a true collector, you know, your $1.95 adjustable like this isn't actually valued too highly. These were made by the millions and they are really nice razors to shave with and really popular today, but they're not very collectible at all. I would say that to a true collector, uh, a razor like this, even in mint condition with the original blades unopened like this set here has, you know, completely sealed, I would say something like this still only has a value of maybe $100 or $150. I don't think that they're extremely uh, rare or anything. They're made by the millions. Um, but today's, today's shaver has valued them much higher. I see crazy auctions on eBay and people on forums trading you know, razors like this for obscene values. And that's the shavers driving up the market. So to answer the original question, is my replated razor collectible or, or, or valuable? To a collector, its value is now next to nothing. It's, it's reconditioned and it's not collectible. But to a shaver out there, this is now functional. A nice coating of rhodium like this on it makes it very durable. It makes it a great razor to shave with for the next 50 years, and it does have a very high shaver uh, resale value. You know, I sell razors like this on my site for $200, $250 all the time, um, and that's, that's the market price for them. And shavers have no problem paying that. And I've seen, you know, shavers take, you know, a razor that's been replated. They'll buy it and sell it again. And it gets sold again. It's back into production. It's back into uh, to being used, into circulation. So I think it's great. That's why I started the razor revamp service. But it's not collectible anymore. It's been reconditioned. It's no different than if uh, you had a 1965 candy apple red Ford Mustang and you scraped all that original red paint off and you put the color purple on it. Is it still a 1965 Mustang? Yes it is. Is it still collectible? Not to a true collector. Is it still drivable and can you drive around a purple Mustang? Absolutely you can. And will you get a high value if you want to go sell it? Yes you will. So I wanted to kind of address that. I don't ever want to make the shavers feel like they're doing anything wrong. I think that replating razors is an awesome choice if you have a beat up razor that is in need of that servicing. It's, it's corroded, it's rusted, it's been damaged, the original plating's gone, there's brassing on it. Those are all great reasons to get your razor revamped. That's why I started the service years ago. And uh, don't ever hesitate to do that, but just please know that it's no longer a collectible and don't worry about that because you're not selling it to a collector. Truth be told, there are not that many collectors out there that are really serious collectors. Most of the buying market today are shavers, shavers just like yourself. Guys that are using this in their bathroom and want to make sure that durable coating is going to hold up over time and they can use it and it looks beautiful. So I always recommend doing it for a razor that needs it, but don't think of it anymore like this. Think of it like this, a razor that's going to be used. It's no longer, you know, original. That's fine. It's been reconditioned. And so I uh, hope that answers your question. And uh, send us any more inquiries. And we like to make these videos to help inform uh, the shavers out there and the collectors alike. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. And stay tuned for more videos on all things shaving. Thanks, guys.